my name is Chen Qi Guan. The title of my final year project is Health Alarm Smart Watches. Problems of heart disease in Hong Kong are very serious. About 11 people die from heart disease every day. Since the heart diseases are very common in Hong Kong, and many people die from late discovery of heart disease, there should have something to prevent it. After I checked the App Store and Google Play Store, I discovered that there are no heart rate alert applications. In my opinion, early prevention is better. Therefore, my idea of final year project appears. This project, I need a device that can detect heart rate continuously. Then I'm going to create an application that can analyze the heart rate of user and detect the abnormal heart rate. After studying in last semester, I have chosen Fitbit HR charger as the equipment because it can monitor heart rate continuously, waterproof and long battery life. There are two main formula that I have used in analyzing users' heart rate. During the process, I find some restriction caused by the Fitbit and affect my design. After some testing of device, I find that Fitbit takes samples in three timestamps, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, and 15 seconds randomly. This frequency is not low enough for us to detect the heart situation by the frequency domain method. It shows that Fitbit sensor only can give out the number of heartbeats per minute rather than some diagram of heart rhythm. Also, there is some time delay for data transferring from the device to the server and from the server to my application. So, my application is not suitable for some emergency cases such as heart attack. I have found some medical researchers. This medical research showed that the heart rate after exercise is an important marker for predicting death. The studiers had followed over 2,400 adults for 6 years for this research. Less than 12 beats per minute would be regarded as abnormal. People who have abnormal heart rate will have four times higher risk for death than others. My final design is generated. In data flow diagram, after synchronized between Fitbit device and smartphone, the raw data of heart rate will be sent to smartphone. Then the data will be uploaded to Fitbit server through 3G or Wi-Fi. In my application, it needs a verification from OAuth 2.0 to get an access token for requesting any data. After that, requests can be sent to Fitbit server and download the raw data to do further analyze in my applications. Here is the user interface in my application. Let's start the demo. After login with the Fitbit account, they have five pages in the menu page. The profile page, you can see the user information. The second page is today's heart rate. It will show all today's heart rate in the diagram. For Analyze Now, there is a button for user to press when they just finished exercise. The button will be locked and show the start time and end time for detection. Wait about 6 minutes. The result will be shown in the screen. The page of detection for whole day, the heart rate will be downloaded and analyzed automatically when entering to this page. The heart rate which is higher than the lower limit value will be defined as exercise. 
all the exercise record will be shown on the screen, and it will count all the percentage of abnormal heart rates appeared in a day. It can give a more deeply and clear picture for users to know more about the health situation of their hearts. Finally, the Know More page. It shows some important highlights in medical reports. It can let the user know more about it. For the detection for once, my application keeps sending requests to server for getting heart rate data every 30 seconds to shorten the time of getting results. For detection for the whole days, firstly, the request of user's age is sent to the server and, the use, and use the age value to compute the check value. Then the request of all whole day heart rate is sent to server. All the heart rate data will be compared with the check value. If the heart rate value is greater or equal to check value, it will set up three time slots for further checking. That can mess Make sure the end time of exercise is closer to one minute. Both, to, both free time slots will have their specific heart rate value. When one of heart rate value is greater or equal to check value, the time slot will be set as end time, and that value will be set as end value. Finally, it can calculate the result. When none of the heart rate value is greater or than or equal to check value, that time slot will be set as new t start time, and we check the value of free time slot. This looping will be end until finding our results. We have asked 10 people to do the test and got some user experience. The test is asked them to run 5 minutes in check meal and then take 5 minutes break. The steps repeat three times and record their heart rate after running. Before they start, I classify them as healthy or unhealthy, mainly based on how often they do exercise. And here are the results. After using the application, there are some improvements can be done and make it better. Firstly, in the detection for once, I find that data is easily lost due to the unstable collection. To make sure the collection and detection in device, here are some steps advanced to do. Secondly, in the detection for whole day, I have set the exercise time as one minute in this application. However, this definition may not have agreed by everyone. So to better the design and make it more user-friendly, a parameter exercise time can be added in this application. Conclude, smartwatches are useful for everyone to monitor their body health and I believe my application can be a strong detection to rise up the awareness of heart care issues in users. Here is the reference. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.